Don't shit yourself. What? I said don't shit yourself. You smell like you've been crying. I have a small favour to ask of you. All right. What am I looking at besides retinopathy? You remember yesterday when we played Truth or Dare and I was asked how many crushes I had harboured since being at uni and I said two. Not even slightly, but do continue. <laughs> well, actually the second one I have designs on right now. Oh. So I asked her out. Good on you. And she replied. And? Well, I haven't read it yet. Oh, I don't think I can bring myself to it. It would kill me if she replied saying that she already had a boyfriend or something. I mean, I'd get over it, but it would kill me. Can I ask, who is she? And what is she like? Her name's La Lysienne. That's French for girl from Arles, so I believe. I don't think she is, though. Is that it? She's cute. We're in the same class together. Uh, I like her. She makes good points about stuff. And I think she has a good sense of humour. Fair. I think Osha would be proud of your standards. So what, do you want me to read it for you? Okay. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, she says that. <laughs> Come back, you coward! Or I won't do it for you. Right. She says that she would be delighted to have. <laughs> There's actually two of us. Uh, she hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> uh, for myself, just give me a sec. Uh, could I get a half pint of the blood orange cider, please? Yeah, of course. Half pint of the blood orange cider. Will that be on to your friend gets here? That's all, thanks. Great. I'll get that to you right away. Oh, sorry. Could you come back, please? Sorry. Um, I just got to ask before I order. Maybe you know more about this than me. Um, I'm actually supposed to be having a sort of rendezvous with this girl, right? And so, would it be for me, as somebody who you're meeting for the first time, stupid question, but um, would it be disingenuous for me to be um, drinking alcoholic stuff? Um. People drink. I don't think it's generally considered taboo. We do have soft drinks if you'd uh, prefer. Yeah, but, um, well, see, I'm actually torn because, honestly, I could really use the pick-me-up, but, well, I'm hesitant because then I might think myself a fraud. Yeah, um, I don't... Can you talk to this person? Hey, buddy, what can I do for you? Hi, um, I was just having a debate uh, with myself because I'm actually waiting for my female counterpart to show up. <laughs> female counterpart, huh? Sounds like you're doing pretty well tonight. Yes. Uh, I'm just not sure whether it would be appropriate 
for me to drink, seeing as it's a first date and all. <laughs> drink up, buddy. Get schlorpen. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're probably right. I, I only occasionally overthink things like this, because, well, it seems to me that every day we as human beings make such a big to-do about first impressions and about making ourselves feel as attractive as possible. Whatever that means. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you, yeah. Like, I'm sure we all like to think we don't judge a book by its cover, but we do, constantly. We can't help it, it is an innate quality. There's simply too many of us on planet Earth and, well, life's too short for us to give the time of day to someone who won't give us the perfection we think we deserve. I mean, we're all magnificently, endlessly imperfect at hell. Sometimes I look at people and I'm surprised we can collectively find each other sufficiently attractive to even breed. <laughs> the fact that we're still here when we're the most ugliest fuckers on the planet. <laughs> and so by intoxicating ourselves and you know, pretending not to care, we don a character. And so then we're all married to caricatures. This goes on for a few weeks, months, years even. <laughs> However long it takes until the, the cracks start to show. They're not as tidy as we'd like them to be. They're not as adventurous as we thought they were. But we're not as confident as we led them to believe. And there's no end game. We might get married and then we might still get divorced. Life happens. People cheat, someone dies, we, we want to have kids, but we can't have them, and we end up back on our own again. These are the lies that we put up for years of our lives, just to check things off a list. <laughs> Get a house, have kids, speed bump, suck each other off. <laughs> and I just don't want to be the one to, to set a precedent, you know? I'm going to be real with you. I don't think it's as deep as that. Here's how you spell and pronounce pilates. P I L A T E S. Pilates. Pilates. So, question, my rudimentary knowledge of French tells me the name La Lysienne means girl from Arles. Oh. Is there any truth to that assertion? <laughs> it's some hippie shit my parents came up with. Nobody in my family is French or can speak French. Oh, but we've been to France. <laughs> um, and I'm told it comes from an opera or something, uh, if I can even remember. By a man named Bizet. Uh, Monsieur George Bizet to his compadres. <laughs> it's a lot fancier than Lal, which is what my compadres call me. Lal, that's not so bad. Uh, pose you this. What then do your enemies call you? Enemies? Ooh. I don't know. Skank. <laughs> um, that's not true. <laughs> so my, my best friend Danny, he calls me um, <clears throat> Skank more than my own name. Um, honestly, just call me La Lysian in one of the nine billion ways it can apparently be mispronounced, and that'll make anyone my enemy. Now that uh, that wouldn't happen to work the other way, would it? <laughs> Only I have been saying it correctly. Good. Would you want a cookie? <laughs> Right, 
Okay, it's gonna... not a problem. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> you can continue. No, no, I was just about to ask if you like I could uh, uh, go to the bar and grab you a refill. <laughs> I can only say no. Uh, would you like me to get you a, a refill? Yes. Plans? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, also, real quick, I'm just gonna drop by the WC. The bussy. Oh, <laughs> the shitter. Uh, yeah, 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 you do that. Um, and if I get back before you, I promise not to take a sip of my beverage till you return. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're really overbooked for an event we're hosting over there. Is there any chance I could grab that chair? Uh, no, sorry. Um, this one's for my girlfriend. That's okay, yeah. 